everybody hear me without the bullhorn? Um, I need the bullhorn. Now can everybody? Yes. 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 All right. So first of all, I want to thank you all for coming down here. Um, in addition to unveiling this um, street sign, this really is the beginning of an amazing week. Um, not only is it IML week, which is always an amazing week in Chicago, but this is the 40th anniversary of IML. So. Wow. I think a street sign is pretty cool because people are going to see it. Um, but truthfully, I think the 40 years of IML is really a lot cooler. So I didn't come unprepared. I want to thank, in addition to thank you all for coming out, I want to thank um, the people who really made this happen. And while I requested it, the legwork was done by the Andersonville Chamber of Commerce, and in particular, um, David Oakes, who's their business service manager. And I know that both David and Sarah from the Chamber are here somewhere. Wait. Sarah and David, I don't see you. Oh, here. Here, here. Truthfully, it was David's life work that got this done. And it wouldn't have been done without the help of Alderman Pilar, 47th Ward, and in, and in particular there, um, Brad, I'll fuck up his name, Gregorka. Perfect. Is it? Are you Brad? No. Oh, you are Brad? Thank you very much. And again, please thank the Alderman. Because obviously we have to have the alderman behind us to do something like this. So I appreciate both the chamber and the 47th ward for making this happen. Um, it's, truthfully, it's always difficult for me to talk for Chuck because Chuck really belonged to a whole lot more people than me. Um, and obviously by your turnout, he belonged to all of you. Some of you knew him as a businessman, some a leatherman, some a political figure, community activist. I used to say that I knew him most intimately as a family man, but the truth is on the most intimate level, I knew him as a spiritual person. Um, Chuck, by way of David Grooms, really is responsible for my conception of God and my understanding of God. When I met uh, Chuck told me, do what thou wilt is the whole of the law. And when he first told me that, I, I was taken aback by it. It sounded really selfish and it sounded really the opposite of everything I had ever believed in in the past. And although I had walked away from that, I was really yearning to get back to that. And it all made sense to me when I realized that the second law was like the first to do unto others. So I want to tell you a story about Chuck in his final couple of years. In his final couple of years, Chuck was obsessed with his legacy. He was obsessed with the book that he co-wrote with Owen and Tracy Bain. He would call you into his office to give you a copy that had to go out in the mail right now to somebody, or he would call you from the hospital because he had to give copies to his nurse. The other thing that he had in his last couple of years of life was a lot of Lifetime Achievement Awards, a lot of opportunity to go to events and, and be recognized. Um, when I was serious, we called it his victory lap. When I was not serious, I would come home and he would tell me, guess what, I'm getting this award, and I would start singing, how great thou art. <laughs> so as I was involved in planning for his memorial, I concentrated on the white party and I left it to our lodge of Freemasons to handle the earlier in the day, um, more metaphysical service. 
and I didn't really have any idea what they were going to do. And I got to that service, and the second song that the grand organist for the state of Illinois played was, How Great Thou Art. And at the time, I thought it was like Chuck coming up and tweaking me in my ear saying, Yes, shut up. <laughs> so as I'm thinking about today, I decided, you know, Chuck was about doing a lot of things for himself, but he was doing about doing a lot of things for the community. And I hope he approves. I, I know he'll approve of my selections. I decided to give out an award in Chuck's name. Because when we go by this sign, you're going to think of Chuck Renslow. This is the opportunity for you to think about somebody else, too. So... I say somebody else because I picked two people for the first ever How Great Thou Art Award. Both of them are people that Chuck really, really, really at his core admired. And he admired them not only for a lot of reasons, but, but I know that one of the foremost reasons was their dedication to the community and their tireless efforts to get things done. Um, so. The first person that I wanted to award this to has spent her lifetime doing one thing primarily. Unfortunately, she called me this morning and said she couldn't come and then she was going to come and then somebody got in an accident. She's basically working and that's exactly why she deserves this award because that's what she's done and she's done it not only for our community but in a lot of ways for the most least served, at least when she started. Um, and, and so the first recipient is Lori Cannon. Um, the second recipient is actually here. Um, it's also not a leather person. It's also a woman. And I hope that she'll forgive me because she and Lori get to pick next year's award winner. And that would be Tracy Bain. Yay! Again, it's not just what she does, it's how much you do and for a lot of the community that has no voice, primarily our youth, our homeless, our transgendered, um, you give them voice. So, uh, Lori's not here, but here's your How Great Thou Art certificate. <laughs> So the final person that I want to thank today is Chip Bean. Where is Chip? Chip, um, in many, many, many ways that the community will never know. When, when Chuck was passing and when Chuck did pass, um, Chip filled a tremendous void for me personally. Um, a lot of things that, you know, Chuck just took care of me. I, I couldn't tell you what our mortgage was, I couldn't tell you what our utility bills were. I mean, if you ever asked Chuck how things were going, he would say, everything's fine, you don't have anything to worry about. Um, Chip took that and carried the ball for me in the days after. And when I called him to tell him we were doing this, he immediately undertook to host the party. Um, so know that there is champagne and some hors d'oeuvres in uh, full kit gear. And you are all invited to, to stay afterwards and enjoy those. So with all of that said, and uh, with the city's approval, here is Chuck Renflo Memorial Way. <laughs> If somebody steals these, then we've got another one. <laughs> Although Stacy Bridges earlier said, I 
I think that's so that the family doesn't steal. <laughs> so thank you all for coming. Um, please join us in full kit for uh, some refreshments. Can we get everybody underneath the sign for a nice big photo? Great. It's, it's everybody else. So Tracy's asking if we can get a photo with everyone under the sign if we want to kind of grab together. Okay.